Hello and welcome to what should have been the site for the annual National Ploughing Championships that were due to take place here in Ballantrain, Fina, County Carlow from September 15th to the 17th. Now, as we all know, this year's ploughing isn't going ahead, but as someone with a deep connection to this unique event and indeed recognising RTE's growing presence here over the years, we decided to come to the ploughing site itself to meet some of the people for whom a year without ploughing will be a year like no other. So Anna May and Anna Marie McHugh, it's a little bit poignant being here today in the site of where the ploughing should be in full swing. How do you feel about it all? Well, if I was to be honest, I would say that I'm disappointed that the event is not happening. But then we have to be listened very carefully to the guidelines laid down and uh, it would not have been possible to have over 350 competitors here on this site from all over the country. But uh, we have to keep going and hopefully later on we will be able to run the qualifying competitions uh, for competitors to qualify for the World Contest. And, uh, and people have accepted that. They're very disappointed, of course, and exhibitors and even uh, patrons and that are generally disappointed that it's not going ahead, but they understand and they acknowledge that we had to make this decision. It's been such a year, you know, Nuala, like, you know, the cancellation of the, the exhibition back in May when we, we had a large majority of the exhibitors had already booked at that point. And, you know, they were just so hopeful that things would improve. And when it didn't, we had to cancel the exhibition. And we were so hopeful then that the ploughing competitions would go ahead and at least people, we would do something virtual and people could actually see the ploughing competitions this week um, uh, online and be able to actually, you know, have some feeling of ploughing happening. But just with the changes in the last couple of weeks and our executive met and the decision was made not to, to cancel and we, we will only have the qualifiers and they will take place in early October, hopefully, fingers crossed for that. And uh, we'll select the competitors from that that will compete in the World Contest in Ireland in 2021 and will compete in the European competitions and the Five Nations and all the international contests. And at the heart, obviously, of the Ploughing Championships is the competition, but around that, it's such a boost to the local economy, restaurants, hotels, everybody in the area must be feeling it. Yes, they have reckon, well, of course they are, and they're all missing their income, of course, at this time of year. But uh, look, at it has, it has its effect worldwide. But the Irish economy here is worth about 45 to 50 million. You know, and uh, with an attendance last year of 293,000, can you imagine bringing them to a rural place like where we are now? And uh, the spend that they would have in the local economy as well. Everybody is saddened that it's not happening, but look, we have to keep the flag flying and look forward to better times. And anybody who thinks you're going to have a quiet autumn now because the ploughing isn't going ahead, will be in for quite a shock because you've full plans in place, fingers crossed, all going ahead for the world next year. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it because I'm hoping that I can boss Anna May around a little bit because I'm, I'm Secretary of the World Association and Anna May Secretary of the Nash and so there's, there's kind of, there, it'll, it'll be fun putting that together but we're very hopeful that... But she will still ahead. have to come to me for advice <laughs> of course. because I'm a world, a member of the World Ploughing Board representing our own country here and you know Nola, it's just to say that it's the occasion of the 90th year of the National Ploughing Association, it was founded in 1931 and the only time that we had to cancel it was in 2001 because of the foot and mouth then and now this year. So look, we have a very good record and we have a wonderful National Council and uh, members and competitors and everybody. While they're disappointed, they are very cooperative and very, very helpful. Very, very helpful to us at, at uh, National Council and in the office as well. And just to say that you can see the beautiful site that was here and the site owners have played a major role in Absolutely. making the event possible for us whenever we came to Carlo. And it's, you know, the turnover is very quick in ploughing because, you know, in September, the qualifiers begin straight away for the next year. So obviously the fact that a world contest is going to be in Ireland, competitors would absolutely love to compete in the national that year, be it the 90th year as well. So it's a special one and competitions will be starting immediately once lockdown, um, you know, is, is lifted that we can have a number of competitors in the one field and uh, they'll be vying to, to qualify. And then also in October, we'll have the, the selecting the team then 
to compete in the World Contest in Ireland and that's a massive privilege. It's only the, the fifth time ever that we'll have a World Contest here and to be the two competitors that get to compete in that is, is really a, a massive privilege and, and one that so many will be trying to, to win and a very coveted position. So Damien, Countrywide and the ploughing have always had a great and special relationship. Um, what are you going to miss about it so much this year? Well, Nuala, it's always great to, to get out of the studio and um, what we've done over the last few years is not necessarily come down and record it, a uh, programme, but we've come down and actually in the RT tent, uh, which is perfectly set for kind of a stage show. So what we've done in the last few years is we've done a countrywide as live kind of road show and uh, there's very little work goes into it because all your potential guests, your dream guests, people that you want to talk to about agriculture, about rural Ireland and about the issues of the day, they're all here, they're all at the ploughing. So we tend to um, gather all of our guests in that wonderful uh, RT tent and we have a great audience around, so you're doing a live show. So it's, it's as close as we'll get to doing a, a kind of a late, late show uh, style programme. So yeah, I, I miss it and you know, the, the, the ploughing championships is a celebration of the end of the harvest. And um, that's what farmers are really going to miss this year. It's an opportunity that once a year they look forward to. A lot of farmers, this is their annual holiday. And um, obviously with it being cancelled this year, they don't have that to look forward to. And it is, as I said, a celebration of the end of the harvest. It's a time to down tools, to go and maybe buy a new tractor, meet people that you don't meet any other time of the year apart from at the ploughing. So yeah, it's very, very sad that, you know, this monumental event if we can call it that and a celebration of rural Ireland is, is not happening this year. And do you see a way back for the ploughing in 2021? It's, it's like everything else Nuala, who knows, who knows where we're going. It would be a terrible pity if you know events like this were to, to disappear forever and I think that every effort will be made to make sure that the ploughing will obviously go ahead in 2021 in some shape or form and we'd like to think that by that stage Nuala we will have begun to live as normal a life as possible with or without COVID, with or without a vaccine, because I think people at this stage, you know, we, we have done our best to try and abide by all the rules. Even now, Even now we're doing it. It's, so they, this has become kind of, you know, our normal routine, but we need to get back into, you know, a sort of life where we can enjoy events like the Ploughing Championships. So I, I, I think it will be, desperately sad. It would be a sad sign indeed of where we're, where we're going if um, the ploughing championships was not to actually go ahead in 2021. It would be a really, really, I suppose, a sad, I suppose, uh, legacy of where we are. And we're all dying to see the back of 2020s and look forward to 2021, getting back to some form of normality. So Marty Morrissey, co-host of Ploughing Live, you must be really disappointed that the event isn't going ahead this year. I am, to be honest with you, I'm heartbroken because to me, ploughing is a very, very special event. I mean, it's the biggest outdoor event in Europe when it's on, but it's more than that. It's kind of a meeting point for rural and urban Ireland coming together in one area. And it's just, it's really about community. It's really Ireland meeting in one place for a couple of days and they're sharing a love of farming, the land, music and basically good crack. And you love it there. Are there any standout moments from over the years? I think it's, it's the walkabout that I have always loved. It, it would take me quite a while because you'd meet so many people you'd know, so many people you didn't know. But it is a conglomeration of so many aspects of our culture um, because farming is important, the land is important. But our music is important. So you could meet Nathan Carter, PJ Murray, Cleona Hagen. You might even meet Michael Flatley if you were lucky, because we're all there together. And it's just, uh, I suppose it's special. It's, it's, you know, we talk in these COVID-19 times about community, but ploughing was community. It was like an AGM, a community island meets in one spot for three or four days and we give it welly. 
and I loved it. And you're such a personable person, Marty, and now that we can't be close to each other anymore, no selfies, no shaking hands. I do miss you, Nuna. <laughs> Is it true that you shook hands with probably close to 300,000 people at the ploughing? Well, I don't know about that. I think everybody shakes hands to, to everybody at the ploughing. But it is that, I mean, I, go, I remember Anya Lawler myself going around in, in the cart uh, thing, and it was just, it was just lovely, the, the friendliness of the people. Uh, I wanted to stop and talk, but we were always rushing around doing something filming-wise. I think it's meeting the people, hearing the accents, you could have a Donegal accent, or a Cork accent, a Kerry accent, Dublin accent. You get all the accents of Ireland, all the different cultures, uh, all coming together. And that, for me, is very important. Now we're all together in COVID-19, but ploughing was community long beforehand. But it was, as I said, it was like an AGM. Um, but to answer your question, I love going around in the wagon with, uh, with Hanya Lawler because we'd start off full of enthusiasm with a camera crew or whatever behind us, going to a location from A to B. We're supposed to make it in five minutes, but it might take an hour. And I love people saying hello to us and uh, shaking hands, posing for selfies, uh, whatever it was. And I, th that to me, it was us being able to meet the people of Ireland and the people of Ireland being able to meet us. And COVID-19 has stopped us all in our tracks, uh, Marty. How important do you think it is to keep the spirit of the ploughing alive this year? I think it's very important. I think we need the spirit because I can only speak personally. When this started in March, April, um, May, June, I was fine. Um, July, yeah, but August, I began to kind of even feel, God, Bob, is this going to continue on? Are we going to see any end? We're now in September and September is ploughing month. and. I really think it's important that that laughter, that noise, that sound, that smell, you hear it ploughing, we should remember that and say, okay, we're gonna go back to those days, but we've got to believe in it and we've got to keep having the faith and supporting each other. And although we can't hug each other physically, we can do it virtually. So we are virtually coming together here to try and say, look, we're gonna beat this. And hopefully 2021, we'll all be back at the ploughing site once again. I look forward to it. And then, Nuala, let's tell the nation, finally Nuala Carey will be able to hug me once again. Hello and welcome to what should have been the site for the annual National Ploughing Championships that were due to take place here in Ballantrain, Fina, County Carlo from September 15th to the 17th. Well, as we all know, this year's ploughing isn't going ahead, but as someone with a deep connection to this unique event and indeed recognising RTE's growing presence here over the years, we decided to come to the ploughing site itself and meet some of the people for whom a year without ploughing will be a year like no other. Here last year, so obviously sales were good. You were coming back. Sales were good last year, and we were coming back this year, yeah. But unfortunately, due to COVID 19, now that has put a stop to it. And because you can't exhibit here for the three days, nobody can, will that have a big impact on you for the year? I suppose, look, the farming sector has to still stay going, and I suppose it's one of the lucky sectors that can stay going compared to other sectors, but still, it is going to have an effect on, and it'll probably have an effect on sales into tractor sales, probably into Q1 of 2021. And away from the ploughing not going ahead, you know, with your own business, has social distancing made things different for people coming in to have a look around? Or what, what work around have you found on that? It has, and it's ha one big effect, I suppose, is demonstrations of new machinery. You know, where you get a guy into a tractor and you bring him around it, you can't do that anymore. You know, you're leaving the machine out and he has to use it himself. And even customers coming into the yard, it's, it's, it's awkward and you can't sit in the office. and talk and do a deal, you know, you're out, you're out in the yard and talking away from your two metres distance, you know. But the plan is that you hopefully will be back exhibiting again very hopefully, soon yeah. hopefully at the ploughing. Well, next year we'll be back again, hopefully.
And you've been competing, is it, for 20 years? Yeah, it's just 20 years now competing at town level. And what do you love about it that keeps bringing you back? Just every year when you come to All Ireland, you meet lads from all over Ireland and Northern Ireland and just me from here every year, but you'd meet the local counties during the year, the ploughmen, but just that All Ireland you meet from every year and it's good crack to meet up with them for the few days. And I often wonder when people are competing, do you get a chance to really go around and look at all the stands? Are you very focused on what you're doing? No, like we'd be just ploughing. The days we're ploughing, you just don't go near the trades. Like we'd be here, if we're ploughing, We'd be trying to be here for half six, seven in the morning, be in before the traffic gets busy. Even though it's half ten again, you are start competing, you're just waiting and waiting around, but you have to be in before the traffic or you won't get in, you'll be late. <laughs> you won't be ploughing at all? No. Now this might sound like a stupid question, but I, don't, I didn't grow up on a farm, so I'm going to ask it anyway. Where do you practice your ploughing? Anywhere I can. Any neighbour's field at home that'll let me in. You just go out a week or two before the, the national and you just get practising every day if you can. Well, I presume knocking at a farmer's door with your title from last year, should they only be delighted to let you in and practise? Well, you don't plough the whole field from, that's the problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're just plowing plots in it. But no, in general, all the neighbours at home would just let you practise away and you'd be trying to improve every day you go out. And what did it mean to you, winning here last year, Gary? Winning at the national, the national plough, like, your name is in the book forevermore, that you're a champion of your class. So, and you just move up along the ranks then the whole time. So, I'm at the top class now. It's just to try get over the line and try compete in that and try win that class. And if you win that, you go on to represent your country in the world, which will be a huge honour for any ploughman, really. And that's your aim, isn't it? Your, your eye is on the top prize, to get to well, the world. That's the next thing. I, the first time I represented the country in anything was last year in the Five Nations. And to win that at the first go, we'll have to try to go one better now. So we had some great weather here last year, Gary, and all looking good again this year. Well, fair play to you, Nuala. We asked you for 10 days good weather. We have a lot of work to do at home before we can get ready for ploughing. So hopefully we'll have the next 10 days you're promising us to get the work finished before we practice. So Ailish, you've just finished up your degree in Ag Science in Waterford. So what kind of farming are you involved in? So at home uh, we are involved with beef and tillage. Uh, we cut all our own crops and then on the beef side we have suckler cows and we also buy in some calves that we rear uh, and finish them at home. So yeah, we're busy all year round. Would you like to take a break in September usually and go off to the ploughing championships? Yeah. Presumably you were always here as a child. Probably one of the highlights of our year every year. All the family used to pack up the car and come and yeah, we'll certainly miss it this year. And any special memories around those days of the ploughing? I suppose you just you come to the ploughing every year. You're going into all the stalls, picking out all the free things that you can get. Um, and I suppose, yeah, there's a few highlights. I suppose the one that I can remember the most is the day that uh, I got lost. And yeah, lo lost for about an hour on my own. So mommy and daddy obviously went mad looking for me. So I suppose I'll never forget that day, but. Well, the good news is they found you they and found you, me, yeah. you should have been back here. Tell us your yeah. good news, but unfortunately all on hold now. Yeah, unfortunately uh, I was meant to be ploughing this year, but uh, due to COVID and whatnot, uh, the class has been cancelled. So yeah, I was really looking forward to it. Um, I was ploughing with Kildare, Kildare ploughing, and uh, I qualified back in February, but unfortunately it's not meant to be. So I'll have to wait the next year, hopefully. And in terms of next year, do you automatically now have to go forward or do you have to re-qualify again? Yeah, I'll be uh, ploughing again next year. I'll have to plough in the county, plough match next year again, but I suppose it's more practice, so yeah, the more sure. practice I get, the better. So. If you qualified once, there's every possibility Hopefully you'll anyway, pass yeah. with flying colours Hopefully. again. And just going back to COVID, because I suppose that's at the heart of everything that has stopped us this year. What are the challenges on a farm coping 
with the virus. COVID. I suppose nothing really changed when COVID hit on our, well, on any farm really, because cattle still had to be fed, cows still had to be milked, corn still had to be sprayed. So a kind of a farmer's life kind of continued as normal. But I suppose there was none of our so, you know, never, we don't get to go out and meet people, of course, like everyone else. But other than that, nothing really changed on the farm. Very good. Well, stay safe. And we're looking forward to seeing you next year winning that competition. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> no better woman. So Seamus, what kind of farming are your family involved in? Um, we're involved in tillage farming. My father was a tillage farmer all his life and I took over the farm when he retired from farming. So he's still pretty much involved in giving advice and bits and pieces like that. So he's a good mentor to have there all the time. And your family farm makes up some of the land that was to be the site for this year and where we were last year. Yeah, we were we were involved with the trade stand area there and a lot of the parking. So we were between ourselves and Henry Nolan and the Brennan brothers here made up the, the total of where the ploughing was held. So it must be very natural, Seamus, that yourself and your family are disappointed with what has happened this year. Yeah, it was a bit of a disappointment because uh, we found it was a great social aspect, really. The whole family was together for the few days and we had cousins and friends and family and everyone around. So there was a great buzz around the place for the, for the ploughing and the lead up to it. So it is a bit of a disappointment that it's not going ahead. And when you were younger as a family, did you go around the country to the championships? Yeah, I always would have went every year. We would have, I would have went with my father to the ploughing. And uh, I suppose back in the early stages, the biggest job was trying to sneak in for free, but to have it fairly well, uh, well fenced off now, you can't get away with that anymore. So. Thanks for watching and joining us here in sunny Carlo. Stay safe, mind yourself and each other. And here's to hopefully ploughing again in 2021.